people, it's me, King Human. I'm King Human. King Human, and I'm about to make some people a lot of money. Pay attention, this is gonna smack you right in the kisser. Okay, what am I talking about? I'm talking about material from public domain archives. I get a bunch of emails from people. Uh, a while back, I did. I told you guys about how I made a bunch of money writing ebooks and selling them on eBay and websites and stuff, and that's made me some serious, serious money. But I get a lot of emails from people saying, "Ah, King Human, I can't write a book. I don't know what to do. I can't do that." Bah bah bah. Well, public domain archives has tons and tons of stuff that you can actually convert for your own purposes because it's in the public domain which means it's up for grabs you can use it publish it and make money <coughs> now what's in the public domain there are tons of stuff i mean everything from photographs books movies, videos, I mean, uh, music, anything that can be created can be in the public domain. I mean, fine art paintings. Look at this painting. It's in the public domain. And you could take that painting, print it on canvas, print it, whatever you want to do. There's so many ways to make money with this. Um, it's yours for the taking. Movies, tons of movies. Let me give you an anecdote. You know, these Three Stooges clips I'm showing you it, throughout this video, they're all in the public domain. A while back, several years ago, you could not walk into a Thrifties or a Walmart without finding this collection of three uh, Stooges movies. There were three of them. It was always Malice in the Palace, Disorder in the Court, and something else. I forget. Grab your head. Come on. Ow! And that DVD was really, really cheap. And what happened was, some guy with the brain was researching the public domain archives and he found these three episodes of the Three Stooges that fell into public domain. He bundled them on a DVD and he sold them really cheap. He distributed them really cheap and uh, the guy made bank. Now I'm just guessing. The guy probably made maybe a buck profit on each one, but he sold hundreds of thousands of them. You can still see that collection out there. And there are guys doing the same thing with all kinds of things. Everything from art collections burned on a disc to, to movies. I mean, you can see there's one guy that does these old cheesy drive-in movies. Um, there's just so many ways to make money with this. There's a website. This guy... Just to give you another example of how people are making money with public domain, there's a guy called Time Camera, and I'll put a link to him in there in the description so you can see what he did. He went and he put together all these different public domain materials. You know, usually what he's doing is it's all print materials, all kinds of graphics and things. Everything from old Houdini magic posters to old movie bills, to old photographs, I mean just all kinds of old public domain graphics, ephemera. And he's selling them on disc as a business to people. He made this website and he says, hey guys, you want to make money, here's what you do. You buy my discs of all these great images and you print them out on your computer and you can sell them. You can sell them at flea markets, you can sell them on, online, you can make money with this stuff. It's bank. Well, what he did was he went to the public domain archives and collected all this stuff for free and he made a business of putting people in this business. That's just one example of how you can make money with this stuff. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? <laughs> Now, I'm going to put some resources in the links here. Everything from where to go to find this public domain stuff for free to legal resources because, y you know, there are some legal things you're going to have to check into. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to cross the line and steal stuff that's not really in the public domain. So you got to be kind of careful here. That's my caveat. <laughs> But 
once you find stuff in the public domain, you can make bank. There's literally millions of dollars to be made at this stuff. And it's a scalable business. You can go as big or as little as you want. If you want to take something and put together a collection and just sell it on eBay, you can do that and make a little bit of money. If you want to put together something and publish it professionally and run with it, you know, take it to bookstores or have video distributors sell it and make huge money, you can do that too. I know the guys that make half a million bucks a year on this stuff. And that's no joke. So I, I also want to suggest maybe you pick up a couple of books on the subject. Google search public domain, see what you can come up with. I'll also put links to some books in there that have some good resources. Amazon, search Amazon public domain. Get started on this. I'm going to do another video, a follow-up video on this to show you really some really cool tips and tricks on how to use this material and make bank. But right now, I just want you to get your feet wet, stick your toe in the water, go look at what you can find in the public domain. It's amazing. I mean, even if you just use some of this stuff for your YouTube videos, you know, you can use the music, you can use the graphics and stuff on YouTube if it's in the public domain, and your videos won't get taken down. And uh, look, this is, go this is huge, this is huge. Send this video to people you know will be interested in it because it's huge. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I got to go play some squash and uh, kick some ass. So uh, subscribe, rate, share the video, and thanks a lot. Bye, Nara!